Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Bubs and Scrubs, and I'm going to cut up my um, soap here. This one I call Summer Love, and it smells so good. <laughs> this is one of my favorite, favorite scents. And um, this is made with a fragrance oil. It's not made from essential oils. And I say that, and it's not a word of caution. It's not anything bad about fragrance oils. I do think fragrance oils get a really bad rap. I mean, one thing that people you know, have this assumption that all natural means all good all the time for everybody, and that's not true. Um, people can be highly allergic to essential oils and can be very sensitive to essential oils. So, um, the thing about fragrance oils, most of these have been, I mean, not most, they have been tested. You know, they are, you know, approved through, you know, FDA for cosmetic use. They've gone through lots of testing you know, in approved uses and approved percentages, and many of them come from plant extracts. They're just kind of assembled together, and they didn't come, you know, um, already made this way. So I think fragrance oils do get a bad rap. Um, the thing that's so wonderful about fragrance oils is that it really does allow you to have all kinds of scents that aren't available as an essential oil or are just not really affordable as an essential oil. So for example, um, Rose essential oil is well over $300 for just you know, 16 ounces. So yeah, I could make a good you know, rose soap using rose essential oil, but it would cost so much money. And so there's very few people that would want to spend that much money for soap, truth be told. Perfume, maybe. The soap, not really. Um, so all that being said, you know, for soap, for, uh, for example, rose makes sense to use... Um, I said that weird. It makes more sense, for example, to use a rose fragrance oil in a soap, in my opinion, than an essential oil. Um, if you are going to use it, you're probably going to use it blended with other essential oils just to stretch it out anyway. So, all of that being said, this is a beautiful scent. It has, it's a fruity smell, but it's not syrupy, sweet, candy, berries kind of smell. Um, it's a very, I think it's a sophisticated fruit kind of blend to me. Um, I, I love it. I, if I smelled like this every day, I'd be in a happy place. So it's very feminine, that's for sure. And it has uh, notes of peaches and cream and, um, you know, berries and, you know, it's some, it has florals in it too. It's very complex. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a... Um, a uh, regular. I don't see this ever going away unless something incredible happens. But this is an amazing smelling soap and an amazing fragrance and so far it's been well received too. So if you like something that has a little fruit smell to it that's you know kind of fresh, not too sweet, this is the one. You should definitely just give it a try. This one, I changed the look on this one too. I played around with the colors and the swirl and and, you know, I have to be honest, me playing around was not intentional. <laughs> what happened was I poured it in layers. This was how the first iteration came out. So I had kind of an apricot color colored layer on the bottom and then, um, you know, kind of creamy layers on top. And so I was really aiming to do that again. Um, but the problem was when I poured it in the mold, this bottom layer just didn't set up fast enough. So it was still really soft, and this layer was setting up very fast. <laughs> and so I couldn't wait, so I had to pour it in. And so it's kind of a, you know, a, I don't even know if it's a swirl, to be honest, but it's a, something going on in there. I think it's still pretty. It smells just the same, so I know what I'm going to do next time around. I'm going to, it's still pretty. It's a little more, um, you know, it's not as linear, I guess. I do know what I want to do next time to solve for that problem, so I figured that out. And that's the thing about soap making. Sometimes, you know, last weekend when I was making my soaps, for some reason, everything was setting up super fast. I don't know why. Like, my soap was going from liquid to solid really quickly, and so I didn't have a lot of time to work with it. And then, you know, for this batch in particular, the bottom didn't go solid as I would have wanted it to, but, you know, the other part of the soap I was working with did go solid, so I was kind of not in a good position. <laughs> but, you know, it still worked out. I do have a disaster to show you in a later video, though. 
that disaster will be going into bargain bubs. So this is what Summer Love, what this batch is going to look like. It's still really pretty. Um, I, I'm sure I'll be thinking through what the next round is going to look like. I probably will add in maybe another layer of color. I think I am definitely going to do it different, differently. So I'll figure something out. But these look nice. The tops look pretty. Nice little feminine swirl on the top. What I do in between cutting the soaps is I wipe down the wire. I have uh, a paper towel that has um, water and vinegar solution sprayed on it. I use a water and vinegar solution to clean down everything. So you can see, you know, when what happened was I did have the orange layer, layer on the bottom, and then when it was time to pour the other layer of soap on top, it just kind of mixed it up and pushed it around. So if it was near the edge of the mold, it pushed it up around the sides, and, you know, it just went wherever it wanted to go, pretty much. But, uh, yeah, I was talking about vinegar, right? So, back to that. <laughs> I use that to clean up everything. So I do try to use kind of more natural cleaners and, you know, certainly around the soaps, that's what I use. And the, uh, the color kind of morphs from an orange to a pink sometimes. I think it just has to do with um, heat and the fragrance and whatever chemical reaction is going on. But the color I used, it was a mica, which is a... A teeny tiny um, mineral powder that has like coloring on it so um, this is summer love I had one left in stock so now we'll have plenty more and it'll be ready to sell in another week so I would say after the first week of August it'll be available to ship thanks for watching